This week for What's Cooking Wednesday, we are making stuffed peppers. The first thing you do is cut the tops off the peppers and clean them out like so making sure to get everything out from the inside and give them a really good rinse once you've cleaned them all out so that you're able to stuff them. I also take some of the tops and I dice that up to add to the mixture that I'm putting in the stuffed peppers. That way I have very little waste. We take one pound of Shoppies ground meat. You can use any ground meat, but this is what I am using. One cup of rice, one onion diced up, and the green pepper that I've also diced up. And to that, I am also adding one teaspoon of oregano, and then one egg. It just helps the mixture stay together. And then I mix it up really well before I stuff it into the peppers. And don't be afraid to really stuff it into the peppers. It will cook fine. I am making these in my instant pot this week, but if you're making them in the oven, you just make it the same way. I'll give you the oven instructions also. And I've mixed them up really well. And here, my camera didn't record, I apologize. But the peppers are already stuffed and in the Instant Pot. My Instant Pot holds four of them. But if you need to make more, you can make them in the oven. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. They need to cook for one hour. And you need to baste them with the sauce about every 15 minutes so they don't dry out. With the Instant Pot, I can just pour the sauce over top and let it cook for 15 minutes on manual and they don't dry out at all because it's a pressure cooker. But you can make these in the oven just as well as in the Instant Pot. I just find the Instant Pot more convenient. And for the sauce, I am using half a can of pasta sauce, a large can, one can of tomato soup, and I take the tomato soup can and fill it up three quarters full with water and add that to the sauce mixture. I mix up the sauce mix together till it's mixed thoroughly. Then I pour it over the peppers. I fill the peppers is a little bit at the top there so I'm going to fill them up and the rest of it will go in the bottom of my instant pot or if you're doing this for the oven in the bottom of your tray so that you can baste the peppers every 15 minutes. I'm putting the lid on my Instant Pot, turning it on to manual and setting it for 15 minutes and my dinner will be done. And the peppers are done. 15 minutes later you can see it piping hot. They look delicious and they taste it even better. Nice. And tonight for dinner, it is stuffed peppers with mashed potatoes and corn on the cob.